Hello everyone and welcome back to the cabin. I know it's been quite a while since I've posted anything. Life just has been too busy for me to sit down and edit uh, several videos. I do have three or four videos in the works, but I just want to give you this uh, quick update on my raspberry plants and strawberry plants and what's going on with the uh, tussock moths that uh, have invaded the area. So let's take a look. You can see they're growing really well. Last time I was out, I uh, put some plant food on the plants and also I put down a lot of uh, lime to try to neutralize the soil. I'm pretty sure the soil out here is extremely acidic. That's why the plants weren't growing very well. So I did that and it looks like it's helping a lot. Let's take a look at the potatoes and strawberry plants. The potato plants for the most part are growing very well. Although I did have one plant right here that like all the brand, all the shoots died and I don't know why just like one plant out of the whole bunch died I'm not sure why if anyone knows leave a comment and here's a look at my strawberry plants they're the biggest they've ever been and I got a lot of good shoots uh, coming off of them these strawberry plants have really taken off since I've given them some plant food and also put down the lime. Pull out that weed while I see it. There's a couple strawberries back in there, but they're still really small. Now for an update on the tussock moths. It looks like they just all died. I've talked to a couple other people out in this area and they said they still have them but around here there's not very many there's not very many uh, that survived there's probably a cocoon right here there's a couple cocoons but if you look at all the leaves there's no caterpillars on any of the leaves They took this one down to nothing. But look at these ones up here. And even over here. If you jump back to my previous video on this topic, they were just covered on all the leaves. So I heard what happened was a virus came through and more or less turned the insides of the caterpillars all to mush and they just all started dying. A couple of my neighbors up in this general area have said they still have a lot on their properties but they don't seem to be around here any so I'm happy with that. Don't forget to subscribe also hit the like button and feel free to share my videos. Thank you very much and I appreciate everyone that's uh, joined my channel. Thank you.